Hey everyone, Nate McGee here. I wanted to show you something pretty interesting. I was doing my analysis here on the charts and of course I came across the Aussie dollar, which some of you know is probably one of my favorite currencies to trade. But what I noticed, I actually took off some of my trend lines here and I noticed that the Aussie here on the monthly chart is actually in a descending channel. If you go ahead and draw a trend line right across these two highs here, create a new parallel, you'll notice that they actually uh, connect just perfectly right here along these lows and form a nice little channel here. As you can see, we've had this pullback here. We had a little bit of a bounce off and it came back down. And now it's coming back down to retest the lower part of this channel here. You can see that we had a nice momentum and flex right here on MQ Momentum, this uh, monthly chart. I want to show you how this looks on a couple other time frames to get an idea of what could be going on because it could possibly just be in a correction. If you look, we had a rally. This could just be the pullback part of that rally before it actually continues on up. And if you look, we've kind of been a pretty steady uptrend for the most part since back in 2001. It's been kind of going up here. So let's go look at the weekly chart. Here's that channel here on our weekly. Same time running across those highs there, drew a parallel and it connects just nicely right here across these two lows. And what we notice here also is that there's a bullish divergence that's forming right here. Okay, so this could be an interesting thing that could happen. We could start to see this possibly roll out. We could see it continue on down here at least to possibly retest the lower part of this channel again like we saw on our monthly chart. But if not, we could see this really actually start to move on up because we do have that bullish divergence here. And we'll go one more time frame lower to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. And we'll look right here on our daily chart. We already have a trend line drawn across these two highs, starting back over here on 1023, connecting them to the high over here at 1120. I drew a parallel here. It's not quite a channel. Okay, we only have that one connection point right there. These haven't connected yet, so I just want to show you what it looks like if it wasn't a channel. I would have gotten pretty close to it. This could be probably considered more of a wedge um, than anything else. But we've had this selling off here and we're coming down. We came down to the lower part of this support zone here, the 88.869 we have drawn here. We had a low today around 88.81. So it had to, did find support there at that zone. Uh, previously, remember that we had last kiss breakout over here. We we're in a range, came out, came back down to kiss it and shot on up and since then it's kind of gone back down here so what this shows me as well on here is that we also have a bullish divergence that is forming on our daily chart as well so we have a couple of longer term time frames that are showing a little bit more bullish signs so I wouldn't be surprised to see this potentially come out of its downward move and it's going to take a little bit of pull but it happened because it has been a pretty strong downtrend but it's something to keep your eyes open for and it's something to be looking for possible trade opportunity to see if this trade um, could start to form for a possible change in trend here so that's it for me so again it's Nate McGee and today is Tuesday December 17th 2013 in case you're trying to watch this to get an idea of what's going on Hope you enjoyed it and good luck trading.